So, tonight's so Town Council wanted to recognise the people in our community who are quietly doing amazing things without seeking any recognition. We had a good number of nominations this year, and a panel of councillors and the town clerk have selected the following people from those nominations, and in no particular order, for her tireless community fundraising, a St Ives Star Award is awarded to Liz Angus Knoll. Say a few words or um, come to the quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> the quizzes I, I see quite a lot of you at the quizzes anyway. Um, I love doing it, love all the charities we've raised money for, not just St. Ives but all through the country. Um, let's just keep at it. I want to get to 50 grand and we're on just under 35 at the moment. Oh, so, oh, fingers yeah. crossed. Well and for his achievements in preserving and celebrating local heritage and culture, a St. Ives Star Award is awarded to Tony Mason. Uh, thanks to whoever nominated me and to all the staff at the council who uh, acquiesced to, to it. Um, I don't really know what to say. There's so many people in the town who I feel are more worthy than I of standing here. But I'm thrilled about this. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for his work with the children and young people of St Ives, a St Ives Star Award is awarded to Josh Rogers. Thank you. Complete shock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost dis disbelief when I got the phone call. Well, so thank you, I'm really, really touched. Well done. Thank you. Thank you for all your work. <laughs> and uh, a posthumous, I say, so. a posthumous St. I Star Award has been awarded to Jim Hodge in recognition of his acts of bravery and services to the people of St. Ives and collecting the award. Um, is his daughter uh, Janet Mitchell and what we would like to be able to do is um, in uh, following years be able to award the Jim Hodge award to someone in St Ives for bravery that's the that's what we want to get to do after so. be humbled. Um, he never liked to boast about anything, but he risked his life, um, evidently when my mum was pregnant with me, and on another occasion the lower half of St Ives would have burnt down if, if Dad hadn't had the, the local knowledge he had. So we've got to be very, very grateful to him for two activities that he, he performed. Um, but didn't want any fuss. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> but, me, could I say one more thing? Um, this award has come to the attention of the town, all thanks to my biggest supporter, Chrissy, uh, Chrissy Chard, who has done unbelievable things in promoting my father. So yeah. thank you to Chrissy. <laughs> Other than if you are interested in finding out what he did, the book, um, have a read of the book because it's all in there. Isn't it? <laughs> no, buy the book. Uh, buy the book. Yeah, sorry. Yes, please. buy the book. Thank you. So we did do one more award um, for his, <laughs> for uh, his, his tireless work towards the environment of St Ives. Um, he, Rupert Manley, he works really, really hard. Steeple Woods and up at the orchard, the community orchard up there, he is 
the first in line. Thank you. Right, we have a Great. picture with. Everyone? Yes, can we get a picture? <laughs>